Hey guys, it is Leah here with Leah Noel Design Co. And today I'm using a redesign with Prima Transfer and I'm using the Transfer Cosmic Roses. So um, this is a beautiful blue floral transfer with gold lettering. And as you can see here, there's like one piece right here that's the center. Um, and then there's like some other, other little floral clusters that surround the whole floral transfer to kind of make it whole and complete. Um, so what I'm doing here today is I'm actually recreating a look that I've done before on a yellow dresser where I'm having the floral, the floral transfer kind of like overlay halfway through here and around the edge. One of the things I really like about um, these floral transfers is that they come with the gold lettering, which is beautiful if you want to like, you know, make it look almost like a postcard, maybe on a wider dresser over the whole scape of the dresser. But it also is nice um, because you have these floral pieces and the gold lettering is there if you want it. And if you don't want it, you can cut it off. So most of the time I end up cutting my gold, my gold lettering off. So I started here at the very tippy top. Um, this, this transfer comes in six pieces. So I started, when I'm placing my transfer, I usually start with the corner um, that is gonna be at the very top. So this is the top right hand corner. Um, and this is gonna go right on my piece. So I went ahead and I already cut all the gold lettering off of this piece. So it's totally optional. You can keep it or you cannot keep it. When I'm going to place it, I go ahead and I just cut this little edge off right here, okay? I really try to get my pieces accurate to like the positioning as I can when I'm placing it. So I really like to cut around my pieces thoroughly. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna kind of like set this up here and I'm gonna use some frog tape that is gentle on, on paint. And I'm just gonna tape this up. Now this will move but I just kind of want to get it up to kind of get an idea of where I'm going with this piece. So this would be the second panel down. Okay, this is panel two of six. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna cut around my lettering right here. And then our bottom corner, I'm gonna do the same thing this piece right here will connect up with this piece. And this is just an extra piece right here that I will use either on the side, on this side of the piece, okay? Or I'll save it and use it on another project. I usually get, um, depending on what transfer I'm using, I usually will get a piece of furniture and a project out of my transfers, which is really nice. I so just let that creativity flow and don't, don't get worried about little things like, like this. Like you see how it's got just a little bit of that gold? Don't worry about that. So originally when I did the original dresser, I have this last panel. I didn't even use it. I did not even need it. Um, to actually go around the, the side. So I'm debating whether I'm gonna use it this time. I may or may not, just depending on how this falls. So now I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna cut it out and then I'm gonna show you guys how to position this. move it up just a little bit. I want to keep it really to scale with the piece. I just, I don't really want to hit up here because I'm going to have some molds up here. Um, so I really want to keep it like almost like I, I just, I want it covering just to about here. Like I don't want to go all the way to here. So I'm just going to move it up. Powering, and it really encompasses just this side of the piece. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carefully remove all of the, um, the transfers and I'm just going to stack them in the order that they'll really go on. I'm going to move this one, these ones down, 
and I'm gonna start with this top one. Now this top one, placing this top one is the most important thing I will do. I need my little wood stick. This little wood stick comes inside your uh, your piece, your, um, your transfer roll. And this has some of the gold lettering and that's fine. Really what I need to do is I need to take off the tape because um, it's not gonna, you don't need this tape on when you rub, it'll just get in your way. And I'm gonna go ahead and I know that I want my, I want my corner to match up on this line because that's gonna be the easiest way for me to adhere this transfer. Um, this is a flat surface, so it's gonna be semi-easy to actually just put the transfer on. Um, if I was going over ridges like this, it would take a little bit more detail work, but it is possible and I do it all the time. peeling this back um, and as I peel it back I kind of look and see if anything is sticking to the sheet and if it is I just rub down all right so our first piece is on it's looking good. I'm just gonna go over it with my hand and just make sure it's adhered on all the spots that it needs to. My hands are clean also. Um, I always wanna work with clean hands when I'm doing this. You can kinda hear me rubbing out some of those air bubbles right now. Okay, I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna push these creases in and it is gonna look a little bit distressed on that spot and then right here I just want to push this edge down really firm because um, I am breaking right now as I'm pushing this I'm breaking this edge right here to compensate for the crease now here's my little trick for this let me see if I can find my thing um, just a little uh, redesign has these little like silicone for the chalk tour you could also use like a silicone paintbrush or just something like that I just like to gently push this in right here because it's gentle the, the material is gentle on the transfer um, and it also it, it has that angle so it pushes it in really nicely And I'll do that here as well, this edge. Okay. And there it is. That's the first step. Now I'm going to go on to the second and everything else will line up from this one. So this is the most important piece of placement. a little bit doing that all right you see here how I have these crinkles I, I I did have a little bit of an issue putting this down um I think I just rushed it a little bit so I'm just gonna make sure I'm really secure through here I will varnish this so it looks a little bit more de-stressed but I'm just gonna really push my fingers down and adhere it and just do the same process as I did on the top one um as I do transfers I really try not to freak out Anyway, when things don't go perfect, because they never do. They never do. I'm gonna go ahead and match it up on the other side. 
um, and just do the same process. But that's what I wanted to show you guys today. I really wanted to show you how to place your transfer, how to cut it out, um, and how to match it up on these edges. And the thing is, they don't, it's still, it's not perfect. In fact, I can see all the imperfections on here because I'm the one who did it. But the person who purchases this dresser and everyone who sees it will not see those imperfections. So um, just go ahead and place your transfer and do not worry about perfection because no one else is. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, have a great one. Thank you, bye-bye.